Well, it only took you 15 months, Konami. Okay, very quickly, in case you're new here, my name is Max. I love the Silent Hill series. I've done many analysis videos of the Silent Hill games. They're arguably my most popular videos on this channel. Like all of you, I've been experiencing feelings of simultaneous dread and excitement waiting for more Silent Hill 2 remake news. I held those feelings in relatively equal supply ever since that big Silent Hill transmission back in October of 2022. But then, of course, Silent Hill Ascension happened, and my pessimism shot through the roof like a spear through Pyramid Head's skull. And that sentiment pretty much maintained all the way up until yesterday when we finally got another look at Silent Hill 2 Remake. So, with that recap out of the way, am I more pessimistic or more optimistic? Honestly, neither. Yes, there are things about the trailer that I am concerned about. And I am of course referring to the combat and the animations, which I will get to. And of course the fact that there is still no release date despite the fact that the game is supposedly done. But I will say that I think that Silent Hill fans are letting their concerns and anger distract them from other stuff in the trailer that is encouraging. In total, the number of things I feel optimistic about are matched in number by the things I'm pessimistic about. So they cancel each other out, and I'm still left feeling the way I did before. Indifferent. Anyway, I will start with the pros and then make my way to the cons. First, in terms of visuals, the one thing that I desperately wanted the developers over at Bloober Team to do was shroud almost everything in darkness and make the few things that are visible dingy and dirty and decayed, just like they did in the original. Then of course take that aesthetic and give it the type of graphical fidelity we expect in 2024. Guys, this is it. The game looks exactly like I wanted it to look, and this new footage just further cements that feeling. There are some exceptions to this though. Yes, they do need to make James's hair not look so goddamned bright. They really need to make the lying figure not look so glossy. And I am a little bit worried about the way the fog is going to work. But outside of that, everything else looks great to me. The one shot from this trailer that really sold me though, is one you might not expect. It lasts like only two seconds, but it's just James walking down this hallway. Like I said, Almost everything is dark, with only a small percentage being illuminated. And what we see is decrepit and depressing. Now if we combine what we see here with Akira Yamaoka's industrial noises, we will have Silent Hill's atmospheric horror in a nutshell. If Bloober Team can pair that atmospheric horror with the same feelings of claustrophobia from those old games, like when monsters sometimes block your path and you have limited resources to protect you, then the classic Silent Hill feel will be nailed. But that does rest on how the combat and movement feel, which like I said, I will discuss in a moment. Beyond graphics, the trailer also tells us that they are keeping a lot of the game's original puzzles, locations, and story beats intact. The first thing that stood out to me was the juice puzzle. I'm shocked that they decided to keep that puzzle in there. Because even though we all love Silent Hill 2, the logic behind that puzzle is still a bit of a head scratcher. Like, who would know that the purpose of a carton of juice is to dislodge a trash chute? But anyway, I was kind of surprised at how happy I was to see that there alongside all the other familiar things like the grandfather clock puzzle, the safe puzzle, the coin puzzle, the dead guy in the fridge, the dead guy in the chair, and the pool with the three lying figures in the apartment area. Though seeing all these familiar locations updated made me very happy, it does make me wonder how much they're going to be sticking to the original. Some fans would be perfectly happy with a beat-by-beat -beat retelling of the original game, while some fans might want them to add and innovate at least a little bit. When speaking about remakes generally, I normally would be one of those people that would like the developer to add and innovate. But there is an argument to be made that the structure of the original Silent Hill 2 is so perfect that any new elements would break it. I honestly don't know, but at the very least, seeing a lot of the familiar stuff in there and having it look good is very, very encouraging. Now, let's talk about the combat. Look. I understand a lot of people being mad at this. They're saying it looks like a Resident Evil clone, with worse animations and gun sounds that lack impact. But most importantly, the inclusion of this type of gunplay works against what gave the original Silent Hill games their identity, what separated them from the likes of Resident Evil. There is truth to that, 
and there is good reason to be concerned. But that said, I do think there is a way you can look at this combat style and not panic. Let's look at it through an optimistic lens first. Remember what I said before about how important it is in Silent Hill games to feel boxed in by both the environment and your lack of resources? That can be done with this combat system. What this game needs to do is limit the number of bullets you can get, and also hopefully make it so that melee weapons break or are unreliable. That way, when you see a nurse or a mannequin coming at you from down the hallway, each encounter makes you pray that you can successfully dodge it. If you can't, then you might have to sink a fair number of bullets into it, or drain your melee weapon's durability, which will make the next enemy encounter even more tense. It would also help if there was some increased difficulty involved in your attempts to dodge. If that's what they're going for this combat system, it can work. But that said, there is the possibility that they're just going to pretend to be the Resident Evil remakes, and make Silent Hill 2 Remake more action-focused. If that's what they're doing, then I will be upset. And unfortunately, deciding to make your first promotional clip after 15 months center around combat doesn't instill me or the rest of us Silent Hill fans with a lot of confidence. The way this trailer is presented, it does make Silent Hill 2 seem like a Resident Evil remake clone. Not only that, but a lesser clone. Why is it that the sound effects and the combat animations look so... Not bad, but just... Like, why does the pistol sound like it has a silencer on it? And why does the shotgun sound like it has as much power as the pistol does? And though I do think that the swinging animation for the 2x4 looks fine, it doesn't sound like it has much impact. And I know James looks like he weighs a buck 05, but even a guy like him, if he's giving it his all, he's gonna crack some bones. Yeah, so this was not the right way to reintroduce the remake to the public consciousness. What they should have done is focus more on the atmospheric stuff. Walking around Silent Hill, maybe giving us more hints regarding how they're going to present the story, and then maybe add in a scene or two of James wielding the weapons. That would have given Silent Hill 2 Remake more of a distinct identity from the likes of Alan Wake 2 and RE. Instead, they gave us this. And now a lot of people are pessimistic. And there is still no release date? Are you ki Okay, yes, we want every game studio to take as much time as they can to make a game great. That includes Silent Hill 2 and Bloober Team. But forgive me for being concerned when the Bloober Team CEO said 10 months ago that the game was nearly done. If that's the case, it should be in the final polishing stages now. Right? If there weren't any problems? But if that's the case, again, what is with the combat and the animations, guys? Were they putting out this trailer without a release date because they wanted to see what the reaction would be and then Konami would go back to Bloober and tell them to fix whatever people complained about? If so, then okay, but is that really how we should be going about doing game development? Especially on Silent Hill 2? So yeah. Those are my initial impressions. Sorry if they're a little bit jumbled. I do think that the things that are concerning about the trailer are biasing some people to condemn the game wholesale, when I don't think it really deserves that just yet. There are enough cool things in this trailer to keep me from losing all hope. But the things that do cause me concern have kept the amount of hope I already had at the same level. That was my 10 minute ramble. Do you agree with my perspective or am I completely off base here? I do wanna hear your thoughts down below. Just keep it civil, whatever your perspective is. By the way, I will be streaming Silent Hill The Short Message a few hours after this video goes up. If you wanna catch my reaction to that, I will leave a link to that in the description box below. Until my next video, remember to stay safe and stay yellow.